How y'all doing? All right. Y'all good? Yes. Yeah. Doing good now. <laughs> there I was, a 15-year-old cynic, sex life finished, penis getting hot about the minute, and I'm stuck up inside this VD clinic which was conveniently situated right across the street from my high school, which means anybody could have seen me sneaking in if they just peeked out the window of my home room. Mm. And I was pissed that I could no longer piss, and I knew that had to get fixed because the pain made me want to slip my little 15-year-old wrist, and besides, I thought it might fall off, and you see I had grown attached. <laughs> <laughs> to my penis. So in the morning when I got dressed, I called up the operator, got the number for the clinic, talked to the receptionist to get the address, and was like, you're across the street from which high school? Why would you be in your place else? It's just perfect. And we really wanted to go to school that day because we had been reading Roots by Alex Haley, and I was really hoping that the teacher would tell me why in the miniseries they were only in Africa for like the first episode. But in the book, they were in Africa for the entire first half. And if the miniseries would leave out 400 pages of the existing African social structure, then the people watching Roots on television would think the slavery was quite as bad. Wow. Then I like, you know, pause for effect, lay back in the cut so the teacher would think that was all I had before I jump right back at him like, besides, the book could have done a little bit more to talk about the history of slavery in Africa. It could have talked about how the white Marmalukes had been enslaved by the black Egyptians. could have talked about how the black Carthaginian General Hannibal had virtually enslaved Italy on an elephant expedition. could have talked about the Spanish Inquisition and how the people who were being tortured might not have been in that position had it not been for a black general by the name of Tariq who conquered Spain by crossing the rock of Gibraltar, otherwise known as Gabriel Tariq, which is the cliff that bears his name, which so happens to be the same cliff that Prudential now uses as a logo. So I guess in that sense, we all own a piece of the Right. And I looked up at the receptionist long enough for her to see me looking down at my watch because I had been there for a while and as I looked up at her again I noticed this thick dark skinned sister sitting across and we begin to smile and you know I'm the type of brother that likes to play around like um what you in here for dear? <laughs> But then I thought about it a minute. I mean, if you don't want to get BD again, then the last thing you should do is try to pick up a woman that you met inside the BD clinic. <laughs> so I tried to play it off, and she asked my name, and I tried to play it off. Finally, I was like, are you talking to me? And without skipping a beat, I made up some bullshit lie, like my name is uh, Toby. <laughs> And, and when you know that ghetto ass receptionist will take that opportunity to slide back the glass and call out my name like, mm, excuse me, Talam AC, and I didn't want to lose my turn, so the, the, the thick sister sitting across me was like, oh, that Talam shit, this is my slave name, baby. <laughs> and as I'm sitting in the doctor's office, looking at the needles, getting nervous about what she might do, I figured the easiest way to calm my nerves is to talk to her a little about our roots while I began. Isn't it tragic? that the very same maritime skills that the Africans and Arabs of the Spaniards and Portuguese to master will become the same skills they would use for our eventual capture, oh. our eventual massacre. And isn't it tragic that they waited to the reign of Sony Bad Ali fell? And doesn't it seem like since the death of that black man in this world, at least the African men has become a living hell? And she looked at me like, yo, who gives a fuck? And said, don't drink any milk till you finish all these pills. <laughs> Anyway, the next day I was back in school with my Inject Oranges with Vodka Cool, my Soap Gummy Beers and Everclear and Stash Pono Mags and our Locker Cool, and it was like yesterday in homeroom, everybody was watching. We understand you got to do what you got to do, but what you don't understand is when we find out that you was crossed the street, why don't you take your father along and have ass to the hospital? And I accepted all the advice they gave me and did not try to play off my actions that previous day as bravery, but what gets me to this day is that people would rather hear about a 15-year-old with BD in their own ancestors' history mm. of slavery.